7 out of 10 solar panel shoppers are interested in adding a battery to their solar panel system. But are home battery banks really worth it? We'll dive into the pros and cons of home battery banks, aiming to provide you with the knowledge you need to make an informed decision. Make sure to stick to the end to learn about important things to consider. I'm Kata, welcome to Net Zero Tech. Benefit number one. Beyond the immediate advantages of energy independence and environmental impact, investing in a home battery bank can lead to substantial long-term savings on your energy bill. The flexibility to charge your battery during off-peak hours when electricity rates are low and utilizing stored energy during peak times is a financial strategy that pays off over time. Benefit number two. One of the most important advantages of adopting home battery banks is the empowerment it provides of generating and storing your electricity. The freedom of being less reliant on the grid, putting you in control of your energy usage. This level of autonomy is not only liberating, but also a step towards a more sustainable lifestyle. Benefit number three. Picture this. A storm is raging outside and your neighborhood is plunged into darkness. But your home stands resilient, illuminated by the steady glow of lights powered by your home battery bank. Home battery banks serve as reliable backups during power outages, providing a safety net when you need it the most. In developed countries, these don't happen very often, but when they do, they can be challenging. Benefit number four, contributing to a greener environment is a key benefit of home battery banks. By storing excess energy from renewable sources like solar panels, you can actively reduce your carbon footprint. It's a small yet impactful step towards fostering a more sustainable way of living and aligning your actions with a cleaner, greener planet. To sum up on the benefit side, we have financial savings, energy independence, backup during outages, and environmental impact. So what are the drawbacks? Drawback number one. While the benefits are compelling, it's essential to acknowledge that home battery banks come with a significant upfront investment. This financial commitment can be challenging for many, prompting careful considerations of priorities and budgetary constraints. Another factor to weigh in is the capacity of the home battery bank. Depending on the size of your home and your specific energy consumption patterns, the storage capacity may prove limiting. Larger households or those with higher energy demands might find themselves needing additional solutions to meet their power requirements fully. Drawback number three. Home battery banks, like any technology, require regular maintenance to ensure optimal performance, from monitoring the state of charge to replacing batteries over time. These maintenance requirements are an extra layer to the overall cost of ownership. Drawback number four. While the usage of battery banks contributes positively to the environment, it's important to acknowledge the environmental impact associated with their production and disposal. The materials used in batteries and the process involved in manufacturing raise valid concerns. Striking a balance between the benefits and potential environmental drawbacks is essential for making an informed decision. To sum up on the drawback side, we have initial cost, limited capacity, maintenance, and environmental concerns. It seems like the pros could be the cons depending on what you look at, right? Financials, so savings versus initial cost, independence versus capacity limit, environmental impact versus environmental concerns. Confusing, right? Now that we've looked at the pros and cons, let's address the pivotal question. Is it truly worth it to invest in a home battery bank? The answer, as you might have guessed, isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. The decision to purchase a home battery bank depends on a myriad of factors, including your individual budget and commitment to sustainability. If you purely focus on the financials, this is one of these compounding things where in 99.9% .9 of the cases, it pays off. You just have to be patient enough. Are you patient enough? 
human nature often doesn't look or plan far enough into the future. The payback period in years is roughly equal to the total battery bank cost, including installation and maintenance, minus incentives and rebates divided by the annual cost savings. The formula isn't exact, as financials are more complex if you include drivers like changing electricity prices, changing battery bank prices, opportunity costs, time value of money, and so on. But it's a start and industry professionals use it for residential and commercial systems alike. For instance, if your battery bank costs 12,000 after incentives and the homeowner saves 1,400 a year on average, the system pays for itself in about 8.6 years. The life cycle of a lithium ion battery for that price today is at about 6,000 cycles which corresponds to a design life of 15 plus years. So the financial answer to the question if it's worth it is a clear yes in this case. Be careful of the battery type and life cycle. I'll look deeper into that in a future video. But let's be honest, is logical economic reasoning really how these decisions are made? To a large degree, yes. But at a certain price point, other factors seem more relevant. I would be the last person to judge anyone buying a battery bank because it's the cool thing to do. My husband had this dream of buying a Tesla. I think it's starting to make financial sense this year due to the rebates for new EVs, but only if you care about driving electric and having seven seats. Otherwise, you're probably better off buying a used EV. In conclusion, the decision to invest in a home battery bank is a personal one, guided by a thorough understanding of your individual needs and priorities. If you value energy independence, see a reliable backup power source and are prepared for the initial investment and ongoing maintenance, a home battery bank could be a transformative addition to your home. Now you should have a better understanding if a battery bank is worth it for you. If you are wondering which one specifically is likely your best bet, stay tuned as I'll dive into that in one of the future videos. So much for stable prices. Too easy, right? However, electricity and battery prices are most likely to change. How would that affect you? The other key factor to consider is the increasing difference in on and off peak energy prices. More and more solar generation comes online. It may have the effect of pushing down shoulder energy prices and increasing peak prices when the sun isn't shining. More and more utilities across the country are including time of use plans. Even if your utility doesn't have them at this point, consider it might switch to them in the future. You might also be thinking that the battery price will keep dropping. So when is the right time to buy a battery bank? Like solar, there is a time for battery banks when the perceived cost curve is cut and the dam breaks. So when will the financial case for battery banks stack up like it did for solar? If we look at historical battery prices, it seemed like we had reached a plateau in 2020 through 2022. However, in 2023, there had been a price drop of about 7% compared to the previous low in 2021 and about 14% compared to 2022. Let's look at two scenarios. Scenario number one. The worst case, you're able to capture a price around the average in 2023 and the price will have dropped another 5 to 10 percent by 2025. Did you miss out on savings? Not really, as you pretty much save the same amount on your electricity bill. Best case, the battery price stagnates or even increases like it did in 2022, for instance due to a lithium shortage. In this case, you have a great deal because you capture the savings on both your electricity bill and the battery. Thank you very much for watching. If you find this helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe and check me out on Patreon. If you'd like to learn more about home battery banks for heat pumps, this might be for you. If you're interested in heating and cooling in general, this might be of interest. Have a great time and see you in the next one.